Hey, Arctic Dungeon Master here, and today is another crafting video where I am going to go through the steps of making this here terrain, which is a castle made out of cardboard, uh, Pringle cans, and egg cartons, of course, Mod Podge and paints. So, uh, it even has this uh, removable door, too. And it has space for everyone to come battle. I right, even got some stairs in the back that are also removable. I can check those out too. Uh, this isn't the greatest build that I've done. By far, it's probably the worst. Um, but it was the longest one. This took me quite some time to do. And uh, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that too. And. Uh, Go through the steps. Alright, so first things first. Obviously, you need to start by cutting the Pringles can so that it fits over the corners of the box of whichever box you're using. You can really use any box. So you just gotta make sure that the Pringles can will fit over that corner so you you got to cut accordingly and as you can see I'm just using a really really simple exacto knife so uh, one simple thing I learned is that you could use a pin to mark where you kind of want the Pringle can to go and then um, you can mark and then cut from there Alright, so after you've done all the cutting for however many towers you want to add to your castle, the next step is, of course, glue. Now, I used hot glue because hot glue is easy to use and it dries kind of fast. Much easier to do than PVCA glue or Elmer's white glue. Um, the only issue I had with hot glue was you want to have a lot of hot glue sticks at your readiness um, because this eats up a lot of hot glue really really fast you got to put glue on the tube stick it on the corner and then you got to put even more glue on it to make sure that it holds alright so now is probably the most tedious part of this entire project and that of course is gluing on the little pieces of egg carton that I had cut up to glue onto the Pringle cans to uh, simulate stonework and even though it turned out awesome as a finished product this is probably the worst part and the most time-consuming part of this entire project. Basically, you put a little bit of glue down and you wet the egg carton piece and then you uh, kind of shake it out to dry and then you attach it. Eventually, and this wasn't until towards the end of this whole ordeal, um, I found that it was easier to get multiple pieces wet at a time and put it on a piece of paper towel and then they were still wet enough and but they were dry but the most important thing is that they were still wet enough that I was able to form to fit around the Pringles can because it was round and uh, I needed to be able to bend and form it to be able to make contact with the PVA glue and for that contact to stick and hold. Um, and uh, that helped a lot. Um, in the beginning, I used a paintbrush in it to get the PVA glue on, 
and it turned out that that was not the best way, but just squirting the glue onto the Pringles can turned out to be the better way at going about this. So like I said, this project literally took months, uh, a couple months for me to be able to put time in and actually get everything covered with eggshell cartons. And one thing that I learned that helped was if I uh, sprayed a selection after I was done putting the egg cartons on the Pringle can was if I sprayed it with Mod Podge. Now it comes in a sprayable form and this isn't really the greatest thing to use uh, but it certainly did harden the uh, eggshells and solidify the whole project a little bit more. It kept things intact which really helped since I was spanning such a great time and it was very very vast. Um, I found that spraying it worked a lot better than actually covering it with uh, my paint and Mod Podge mixture. Um, that did not turn out as great as if I was just to spray it, let it dry, and then I could actually go back and do the whole paint Mod Podge thing too. So I did a lot of trial and error things and I eventually found out which ways worked best at getting this all put together. Alright, so as you can probably tell, I did not finish recording the complete build of this project, mainly because I was running out of time and I needed to use this for my campaign in Greyhaven. Um, basically the city was getting attacked and there was an epic battle in front, in, and inside the castle. And so, in the little videos that I was recording, um, like I said, this was the longest build I've ever done. In the videos, I had, uh, last recorded painting on the Mod Podge on the towers. And as you can see, I ended up adding little pieces of, or larger pieces of a uh, egg carton to resemble large stones for the build work of the castle. I ended up spray painting everything, uh, all the cardboard with a gray primer after I had painted all this with black with my black paint Mod Podge mix um, and then I just went over the cardboard castle with black spray paint again just because it just felt better. I ended up cutting uh, the insides of the uh, Pringle cans that I hadn't covered yet with the uh, stonework uh, just to show uh, damage because Essentially, the players come to the castle, and it, the castle's already under attack, um, which allowed me to cut off a top of one of the towers. As you can see, that is not a full tower. But it allowed me to have this, and I was able to drop this on one of the game mats uh, during a battle, which kind of surprised my players and was awesome. I had put, um, as you can tell, kind of, some pattern on the uh, floor and I ended up giving up that uh, just because I didn't, it was taking too long and I realized it really wasn't going to come out the way that I wanted. And it really didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Um, so after I did all the Mod Podge and all that, I dry brushed uh, in grays and white to give the stonework look, which turned out great. Everyone loved the castle, thought the towers were great, and I might salvage the towers um, 
for something else. I'm not quite sure yet. Um, I'm you. I might use them for another build. I'll just take them off this. Um, the castle gate is removable, which was another surprise feature for my players. And essentially, it's just plastic toothpicks, cardboard to hold it, to stabilize it, and styrofoam. Um, and it just goes on simply. Well, usually it goes on simply. Yeah, there we go. So it just goes on like that. Uh, I had to cut out little grooves for it to fit over the cardboard. Um, but my players thought that it was going to not break. Then I happened to pop this off and let a whole bunch of ogres pass through. And so it added to a time crunch to where they had to defeat some... Uh, uh, drakes and uh, um, and some worms, some flying snakes. It was it was pretty cool. It was a cool little battle scene. Um, but anyhow, that was my castle build. I hope you guys uh, got a few creative juices going. Uh, don't ever be afraid to use eight cartons for stonework. It's cheap and easy. It's cheap time-consuming but I, I kind of think very rewarding uh, this looks really really good I think for being cheap pennies this costed pennies they used a lot of recycled material uh, if you've done anything cool with recycled material feel free to comment below with a picture and as always comment like share subscribe until next time, have fun guys.